Tongan dancer and choreographer Tui Iahai Tui Fitu is helping to keep his nation's traditional dance forms alive against the onslaught of hip-hop. He's been in New Zealand as the Pacific Dance Artist in Residence in Auckland, taking workshops and sharing his love of Tongan dance. His grandfather was an authority on Tongan history, tradition and culture and encouraged his grandson to dance. OK, my name is Iahai Tui Fitu. I am 22 years of age, full Tongan, born and raised, and I'm Pacific Dance New Zealand Artist in Residence 2016. This Otohaka dance is a sit-down dance, sitting down dance. It's, um, it's uh, basically just hand movements, just the hands, just the, the top part of the body. And it was performed by women, originally, by women with nobility blood. performed in front of the Tuitonga in special occasions that he won. And, but nowadays men can join in, but, uh, back, but, but Otuhaka is basically just um, for women. It's a really old Tongan language. Um, it's Samoan and um, Uven. Um, it's called Wallis Wetuna now, nowadays, but it's, it's yeah, they're really old, old language. And Tongan, that's the Tongan old language. Yeah, but um, nowadays, I'm not sure if any anybody understands the language now in Tonga, especially youth. But um, there's some people that still understand it. Probably just Puna. <laughs> I learned it when I was in Atenisi, performing arts. Um, it was the school was founded by Professor, the late Professor Futahelu, and. Um, I could basically just grew up at the campus as a grandson and just running around and just always looking at all this every time they have um, dance um, practice and grew up and joined FPA and went on tours and that's how I learned how learned the dancing, all the dancing that I'm here to do and share. Not just Tongans there, but they have other cultures, other nationalities of kids. That they're they're really, they're loving it. They like the Tongan dance. They they actually told me it's the best dancing of the, of the South Pacific. But I cannot you know I can I know I'm Tongan, but every culture has the dancing is all beautiful. Two, three, four, five. Six, okay, six times, and then and then after that they do this. One, two, from to the right, and from the left, and same thing. They they they're really like keen. They're really into like they want to learn more, because uh, most of them grew up without um, any background, or they didn't they they were doing any Tongan dance taught to them by someone from Tonga, and they're really happy and really interested to learn the Tongan dance. And some of them haven't um, done any Tongan dancing in their life. And they're Tongan, full Tongan. <laughs> but they grew up, but they were born here and grew up in New Zealand. Into the arts now, the ancient songs and dance of Tonga have been on show at the Te Oro Arts Centre in Glen Ennis in the last month as part of a Pacific dance residency. Tuya Hai is from the Atenisi Foundation for the Performing Arts in Tonga and the residency is now in its seventh year.
it's it's um, not a hack up but um they use it now in my ulu ulu but it was mainly it was in not the this one so when you go to the side at the same time the person beside you this is his um right arm comes across inside you at this um in your left arm that's why you have the little gap in this um so you can so they say so they come across it and they're together it's a really nice one. It's all about the hand going to the side. There's, this one that I really like in the Otohaka is um, that move when you put it up and it goes back up here. And then when you deki, it comes here and it comes back down. Motorize it to this one, one, and then comes around, and then here. That's that's the modernized one for the for, for that movement in Otohaka, and they go into the side, one, and it comes back. They pull, and then the dui, and there's another one, this one, it goes around, and then and then you take him. The vete, this one, it's um, it's a modern uh, movement, but it, was, it wasn't in Otohaka. But it, I, it's my contribution to Otohaka as an artist. I like to use vete just in the Otohaka. Space. And um, for to, to what I think what, about space, giving space, and the hands away from from the arms, like your arms are supposed to be, because it's all about. So your movements can be this like a lot of space for your movements when you're doing it. At the same time, it's very it, it looks way beautiful when your arms are away from your from your side of your body. So and the head. Every time you do don't tongue and dancing, it's uh, always. You're, you just have to, um, you're, you're, when you're looking, you always have to look where your, your hand, your hand movements are going. And then you look at the front. Every time a, a movement starts, a haka, you, you have to look at it first. Like for example, this one, when it goes to the side, look at it and it comes back to the, to, 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 to the middle. And then you just keep on, you have to, you have to follow where your arms are doing. Because so, at the same time you're telling a story as you're dancing. You're telling the, what the song is about, the story of the song. The poem, the poetry of the song. First thing I was teaching, you have to be graceful, you know, but at the same time you have to make your body be still. It's just the arms is the most important thing. It's the, that's otuhaka, it's the movement of arms and hands. That's it. that's that's why I usually. Say pause, always remember to have a little pause, don't, don't rush it at first. I've seen a lot of dancing, tongue and dance, perform, people perform, they, it's like they're rushing it. It's not a, it's not a race, because you have to just, you know, just, just the timing, especially the timing, they don't have time. If you don't have time, you, you're, not a, you're not a dancer, because timing is very important in dancing. First asking Hai whether he's pushing the traditional dance forms in new directions or sticking to the rules. When I was two, I just started dancing and it, it's inside of me naturally, tongue and dance. And I love, I just love dancing. When did you decide that you yourself wanted to be a dancer? Uh, and it sounds like your family did support you in that. I just knew it. I didn't decide it, but I, I just knew it. Dancing is for me, so... That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional dance forms are very important to you, but do you like to experiment also with them? Because you could simply concentrate on the beautiful traditional dance forms of Tonga, or you can take those traditional forms and push them in other directions. What do you do? For now, I just keep it really tradition keeping the traditional dancing movements. 
But I think in the future, I would just like to contribute some new moves into the Tongan cultural dance. But at the same time, I'll just keep on reserving the traditional movements.